All right, uh, this is the last lesson of the unit on similarity proofs. The first thing we're going to do is look at triangle congruence. Let's try to remember congruence, not similarity yet. Let's just work on congruence. Let's name the conjectures to prove that triangles are congruent. Well, we had SSS, SAS, uh, we had angle side angle, we had uh, side angle angle. Those ones all worked. We also have hypotenuse like. Now the conjectures that didn't work uh, were um, um, SSA and angle, angle, angle. Now this is when we wanted to prove that one triangle was exactly the same as the other one. Now similarity is something different. What's the difference between congruent and similar? Congruent is sides and angles congruent. Similar, we have angles that are congruent, but the sides are going to be proportional. So this is a little bit different. So let's see what we can use to prove similarity. So uh, we have to show that the sides are proportional and the angles are congruent. So uh, this is what we have to prove. Now, we don't want to prove every single one of these every single time we have two triangles. We want to look for shortcuts. Our first shortcut is if we have two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another, then the triangles are similar. So if angle A is congruent to angle X and angle C is congruent to angle Z, then we know that these two are similar triangles. They're not congruent. You can see this is bigger than this one, but we know that they're similar. And uh, and some people ask, why isn't this AAA with three A's? Well, if we know this, uh, if we know two, the third one automatically has to be congruent. So if you wrote AAA, you'd be correct, but uh, the minimum you need is a, A. Now, uh, I, just to show some examples of when this would be, if I had uh, 57 and 48, sometimes people say, oh, this one doesn't work because these don't match up. But if you add these up, um, you get to 132, subtract from 180, and this one's 48. So you would say, yes, these are similar by A, A. Similarly, in this situation, if we have a vertical angle, we have some alternate interior angles. We have two angles, so we can say that this works because of angle angle. All right. Oh, I didn't write the similarity statement. Here's a similarity statement. And those are the reasons why. All right. Now, if the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional, uh, then the two triangles are similar. This we call SSS. So that's just matching up all the sides. Now keep in mind, this isn't saying that the side lengths are the same. They're not congruent, they're proportional. So when you divide all of them, you should come up with the same number. If that's the true, if that's true, we'll say that they are similar. And finally, if we have two, the, <clears throat> the lengths of two sides are proportional and the included angles are congruent, then they're similar because we c call this the SAS conjecture. Uh, and then we can fill this in. So if RS over XY is the same as ST over YZ and the angle in between is congruent, then we know that these triangles are going to be similar. So if we look at these couple examples, uh, these are three and four in your packet. Uh, if I have this big triangle and this small triangle, uh, you would do eight over 12. Does that equal 10 over 15? Well, uh, this one's two thirds, that one's two thirds. So they're all equal two thirds. So that's true. And angle A is included. Angle A is congruent to angle A because that's reflexive, or you can say the same angle. And so are they 
are they uh, similar? Yes, triangle AEF is similar to ACB by side angle side. I should write this out. Triangle AEF is similar to triangle ACB. All right, and I'll switch pens to go to the next problem. Now here, um, there's, uh, we have a couple ways we can do it. We have the angle in between here. Uh, and so we, we could say five over, and then you have to think which one of these is smaller. So I would say five over 12.5. Is that equal to 8 over 20? Huh, I really don't know. Uh, I know 8 over 20 is 0.4, and 5 over 12.5 is also 0.4. So both those are 0.4, so that's good. We know uh, angle PRQ is congruent to angle TRS because those are vertical angles. And then they are similar because of side, angle, side. And these, or uh, I could have, I did side, angle, side, but you, we could also do uh, uh, side, 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 because there's three sides on each of them. Um, and all of them have a scale factor of 2.5, so they're similar by SSS. Now, if we want to write uh, paragraph two column, flowchart, whatever you want, doesn't matter, uh, as long as you have a proof. Uh, let's start with this one. Uh, we know DE is parallel. I'm just going to use my bars. It's parallel to AC. Reason, given. We always write the given information in here. All right. If that's true, then we know angle D is congruent to angle A because those are corresponding angles. Angles. Uh, three, uh, we know angle E is congruent to angle C. And I should be more specific here, I should say angle B, E, D is congruent to angle uh, E, C, A because there are multiple ways of representing this. And that's because of corresponding angles. And then once we have two angles, now we're good. We could say triangle ABC is similar to triangle DBE, and that's because of AA. All right. Now, hopefully, you can do the rest of the assignment based off that. Good luck.